Hi everyone, we'll now have a look at a very fast distributed algorithm for graph coloring. We will look at a very simple setting first. Our graph is a cycle. And not just a cycle, but we assume it's a directed cycle. Each node has got exactly one successor and exactly one predecessor. And when I say graph coloring, we are talking about proper vertex colorings with K colors. That is, the nodes need to be labeled with numbers from 0 to K-1. And the label of a node is always different from the labels of its neighbors. We will assume that the cycle is already colored with some large number of colors. For example, assume that the nodes are initially labeled with some unique identifiers from a large set of identifiers. Think about something like IP addresses here. The identifiers form a proper coloring, but the number of colors is large. And we'd like to reduce the number of colors so that we would have a new coloring with a smaller number of colors. Let's say we've got already a coloring with 256 colors using numbers from 0 to 255. And we'd like to reduce the number of colors. Now, there's a simple thing that you can always do. Just eliminate colors one by one. We can, for example, eliminate color number 255. Just consider all nodes of color 255. They check what are the current colors of their two neighbors. And then they pick the smallest free color in their neighborhood. This node here can pick color 0. This node here can pick color 1. This node here can pick color 2, and so on. All nodes that had color 255 will have a new color between 0 and 2. And all other nodes kept their original colors. So all nodes have got now colors between 0 and 254. So we made progress, but only very little. We got from 256 colors to 255 colors. You could repeat this for 253 times, and eventually you'd have a coloring with only three colors. But this takes a lot of time, and we can do much better. If you're given a coloring with 256 colors, we can in one step reduce the number of colors to 16. Let's see how it goes. Let's look at some fragment of the cycle here. Our original colors are numbers between 0 and 255. We can represent these using binary numbers with 8 bits. Nothing happened yet. We just wrote the colors in base 2. Now I'm a node somewhere in the middle of the cycle. I'll compare my own color with the color of my successor. I got two binary strings, and of course the binary strings are different. So there is at least one bit that differs. Let's find the index of the lowest bit that differs. For example, here bit number 0 is the same, and bit number 1 is the same, but bit number 2 differs. And the value of this bit is 0. So I'll take note of these two numbers. Index 2 and bit value 0. My new color will be this pair. Index, comma, bit value. 2, comma, 0. Of course, we can represent this again as a binary number. For example, just write the index in binary and concatenate it with the bit value. The index is something between 0 and 7, so it fits in 3 bits. We write 2 in binary, it's 0, 1, 0, and add 
the bit value zero. And that's it. My new color is in a binary zero, one, zero, zero. And everyone does the same. For example, this node here will also say that bit number two differs from its successor. But now the value of the bit is one, so the new color is two comma one. Or in binary, zero, one, zero, one. And this node here will say that bit number six differs. And the value of the bit is zero, so the new color is six comma zero, or in binary, one, one, zero, zero. So we started with a coloring in which the colors were binary strings with eight bits. And we got a new coloring in which the colors are binary strings with only four bits. So we started with 256 colors and we pushed the number of colors down to 16 in just one step. Each node simply labels itself with the index and value of the first bit that differs from its successor. And the amazing thing is that if all nodes follow their simple rules, the new labels are guaranteed to form a proper coloring. My new color is always going to be different from the new color of my successor. Can you see why this is the case? How do you prove it?